When it comes to cutting stone and smelty, most people will use a hammer and hardy. But for those people that may find them difficult to use, then you may be interested in a new machine that's just been released into the marketplace called a Hasselcam chopping machine. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate that machine and also give you a review on it as well. So anyway, let's get into the video. This is the mosaic stone chopping machine by a company called Hassel. And it's an absolutely beautiful machine. It's, it's very heavy and you can tell that it's a quality item. Now when you receive this machine, it's going to come in a box. It, you're going to get an A4 piece of paper here with instructions on, which is very, very easy uh, for this because there's really not a lot in operating this machine. You're also going to have these two weights. They're not going to be on this, but they're just easy to screw on. And you're going to uh, find those very handy because being uh, weights, they will make it easier for when you are winding down the handle onto the stone or the smelty. You're also going to get two bolts and these are going to come in very handy because although this is quite a reasonably heavy machine, but when you're actually going to be cutting stone and smelty, you're going to uh, want to actually bolt this to your bench. Now, if you don't want to bolt it to your bench in a permanent position, what you can do is get a piece of metal, a reasonably heavy piece of metal, and bolt this to that piece of metal so that you can move it around and put it into storage. Now, what I'm going to do is, I've actually got a piece of wood here, and I'm going to bolt it to this piece of wood, and then I'm then going to use clamps to bolt that to my bench, because what that will enable me to do is move it around where I uh, want it, and uh, if I don't want it, I can just easily put in storage without a huge amount of weight to it. So I find that's going to work really, really well for me. But like I say, it's a really beautiful machine and uh, it is definitely quality. Now you have a grid here, which uh, when you're cutting your stone, you can gauge how wide you need to cut your stone. You also have this uh, knob and this piece of metal here, and this is a guide. And this allows you to actually, if you're going to be wanting very consistent, say 10 or 20 millimeter stone or smelty, it enables you to push the uh, stone up to this once you've got it to where you want it, or as far as 10 or 20 millimeters go. And then you can then just wind the handle down and cut it. Take the piece out, slide the new piece in, wind it down and cut it. But the chances are really I'm not going to be using this. I would really like to do it by hand because I think it'll be faster and I'll just move the tessera across after every cut. So I think that's what I'm going to be doing with it, but I'll make sure if I take this off, I'll keep it in a very safe place because I may want to use that later. And I'm looking at cutting some glass rods, I'm looking at cutting some stone, some marble, and I'm looking at cutting some smelty and we'll see how it performs. Well, I've just bolted it to the actual pine and uh, I've countersunk the bolts on the other side, so it's come up really quite well. Now what I'm going to do is show you how I'm going to attach this to the actual bench so as I can move it and it's still going to stay nice and steady for me when I need it to. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I have these two plastic clamps and you can get metal ones as well, but these are just plastic ones and they're very, very strong. So all I'm going to do is open one up and clamp this piece of timber to the actual table like that. And I'm going to do, get this one and do the same on the other side. Easy. So that's all there is to it. Now this is just my way of doing it. It doesn't mean it's the only way or the right way. This is just my way using the tools that I have at uh, my studio to uh, make this work. Now what we'll do is we'll get into some cutting and see how it performs. Well I'm pretty well good to go. All I need to do is wind the handle down. Oh look at that requires very little effort to do it. It's magic. So all I'm going to do is put the smelty in here and I'll show you the guide as well while I'm uh, doing it. Well, there's our guide here. And like I say, you can use it or not use it. It does have measurements on the bottom here. I do find that this works quite well once it's set in place, um, but I do think it's a little clunky. Look, this machine is made so well, but I just feel this guide could have been actually a bit better than what it is uh, because I find it doesn't, sm um, it doesn't slide as well as what I had hoped for. But I'm going to be taking it off anyway because I'm going to be manually guessing the width that I want. But like I say, this guide works. If you want to use that and you want to have consistent cuts, then this will work well for you. So if I want to cut it there and 
it doesn't require much effort. Now I'm going to actually hold that, hopefully my hand is not going to be in the way, and just turn the handle, and there's one cut. Wind it back up, whoops, there you go, there's one off there, and just put it in there and do another cut. Take it across and do another cut. Take it across and do another cut. And it requires very, very little effort. And as you can see, that's fairly consistent in the width that I've done. Like I said, really wanting accurate measurements, then I would definitely use the guide, but I think that's worked quite well. So now let's try some glass, some glass rods. Now let's have a look at the uh, cutting of the 10 millimeter glass rods. I'm just going to bring that cutter blade down to the height. There we go, and we'll see how it performs. Cuts very, very easily. No effort at all. And uh, I've got a little box at the end there that's actually cutting, that's actually catching the off cuts, that's working well. But I'd like to try this and see how it goes with the guide. So I'm gonna now attach the guide, and once I've done that, we'll come back. Very easy, very consistent. So I really think it works extremely well with the guide or without the guide. I think if you work without the guide, uh, you're going to need a bin at the end to catch uh, your offcuts, the tessera offcuts. But working with the guide is really easy too. I think also with this machine is as you uh, use it more, you'll get faster and faster with using it. Well, I've removed the guide and I'm just going to cut up a, a few slices of this black marble and I'm just putting it in there and I'm going to wind the head down just so it's touching the actual marble and I'll use my hands to guide it across so as I can cut the width that I'm actually after. And it cuts beautifully. Beautiful. This is some red marble. And here's some white marble. On the head down, begin cutting. I think it's done a really good job. I really enjoyed using the mosaic chopping machine and it's so beautifully made. What I also love about it is its portability. I've got it anchored here with this piece of wood and these two clamps. Now I could use G clamps or I could also use a smaller piece of wood. But why I chose this side was because it gives me clearance under the table to work under. Now that I've finished with it, I can remove the clamps, put them aside and then get this and put it on a shelf and it's easily stored away. An important thing about that is because it's not in a permanent position, I've now got my room back so as I can work on this table. And as we know in our work areas or our studios, we never have enough work area, we can always do with more. So by having uh, this machine that is absolutely portable allows me to get back that very important work area. This chopping machine is a precision tool that can cut hard materials up to 12 millimeters thick. Replaceable blades are also available if you need them further down the track. A major advantage that this tool has over hand tools and the traditional hammer and hardy is that it's a lot easier on your hands and wrists. Cutting hard materials with hand tools can be really hard on your hands, especially if you have issues with them. The same can also be said for when using a hammer and hardy because you are using your wrist when using the hammer. That's not to say this chopping machine will replace those tools because they too have their advantages. If you're going to be doing a lot of repetitive cutting or have issues with your hands or wrists, then this machine offers a more efficient and precise way of cutting hard materials. As I mentioned earlier in the video, I just love how easy it is to store and it gives back our valuable workspace when we need it. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you're working with hard materials and have issues with cutting, leave a comment in the comment section of the YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And if you saw value in the video, please share it wide. And I will look forward to seeing you in the next one. Enjoy.